beautiful area riding right along the creek uh, the forest road rides along the creek the other side of the creek is the trail today i'm testing out the zg cine real uhf wireless microphone system now last we just recently tested out another microphone system if you all remember so zg cine reached out to me and asked if i would be willing to do a review on my channel and i said yeah sure i haven't even opened the box yet um i'm gonna test it out see how it does this microphone is not a Bluetooth microphone. This is an actual radio frequency microphone. Uh, so we're gonna see how it performs. It definitely doesn't have the same range as some of the other microphones, like 100 and 200 meters. Oh, this is a beautiful area. Yeah, we're gonna see how it does. It's a uh, dual channel. So it's got a receiver that accepts two channels and transmitter. Let's look like a nice spot two transmitters with similar features such as uh, you know uh, eighth inch 3.5 millimeter input jack multi-stage pad for for gain levels uh, we're parked right here by the creek and let's jump out and give it a try I'm gonna set up set up the table have some coffee first see how this thing does that ZG Sydney boasts about their unit uh, would be the 50 meter distance, four hour runtime, the dual channel, uh, dual channel transmitter and then receiver which can split a stereo signal. Uh, so you have a left and a right for each one or a mono signal sending both through each side. Um, you know, it's, it's the basic features uh, there's a few things I like about this and a few things I don't like about I wish they had I had they had changed. Just a heads up, I'm gonna be giving this ZG Cine Reel UHF wireless system away. Stay tuned in a few minutes I'll tell you how you can enter to win this microphone system. First glance, I'm pretty impressed with this thing. You have a nice carrying case, uh, really nice holding spots, specific slots for each of your transmitters and receiver. You have a cold shoe mount. You have an iPhone tripod mount with two cold shoe locations. Throw your receiver on there and a shotgun mic on there. That's pretty cool. They give you two lav mics with nice clips. Pretty, pretty solid build. Two lav mics. You have a really cool magnetic clipping system. Yeah, put that magnet inside your shirt. You have you can throw it anywhere, and it doesn't look like funky here or funky there, like it's bunching up your shirt. So that's really cool. 3.5 stereo cable. Your three-way USB-C to USB-A charging cable. So you can charge all three units at once. Another 3.5 millimeter cable. Uh, that's a pretty impressive package. Now, these are a little larger than most wireless units. Not, not much, a little larger on height as well as width itself. So it's not the slimmest of profiles, but a solid clip, nice rubber backing so that it doesn't slip. Got your power, microphone, input, and then your charging port. And you know what? I really don't know if these have any juice. Yeah, we've got power. Cool. So I can already see my transmit signal, my audio levels, my channel. You can select your channel and your gain. I'm about to swap out mics so that we can give these a go.
So it is pretty windy out here and something that this kit does not come with uh, is actually a windscreen to cover the, the built-in mic. So I brought along um, the lapel mic if I need to wire it up. Of course, I don't know until I get home. So we're just gonna do it, try them both. You know, halfway through, I'll, I'll try the mic. But I'm gonna do a distance test right now. I am just gonna go down the road a little bit and hopefully we're still line of sight. Um, again, this isn't Bluetooth. This is an actual radio transmitter. So uh, this can receive more interference from other radio signals coming through the area. Uh, I'm out in the woods, probably not near radio signal coming through unless someone has a, a two-way radio or something. But let's walk down the road a ways and just check out our distance. Alright, so I'm going to clip this just on here and this right here and this has a windscreen so the lapel mic does have a windscreen which is really nice and honestly that's that's a solid rig it doesn't feel like the cable's going to come out i could easily wire that up really great rig keep walking here I'm sorry guys terrible i'll just hold the receiver which may cause interference we're about to give this zg cine reel wireless microphone system away how can you enter all you have to do is like this video, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below telling me what type of project you would use this microphone system for. We'll announce the winner one week after the video has been online. So go ahead and like and subscribe. And yeah, let's keep trying this out. Something I've noticed about this system, the audio level meters don't really tell you if your audio is clipping from within the device. You can see your audio levels in the camera, uh, but if you're clipping from the mic itself, you're gonna get distorted audio anyway, with, no matter what your level is in camera. So that's one thing I would like to have seen in this unit is uh, a better audio level meter. There is a range display showing you if your transmitter is outside of the range of the receiver. That's a really nice feature, especially for um, a radio frequency transmitter. So that's a really nice feature that they have. And then there's also a blend mode here on this unit. I'm actually not gonna try them together currently, just because I really just wanted to try out the functionality of one mic, you know, as a YouTuber, as, um, a vlogger essentially see how this thing goes for YouTube videos for a, a you know a solo shooter which most of you are probably going to do I'm, I'm sure that many of you will also use this for documentary style shoots um, so I'm not going to try out the blend mode because I want to keep the gear in pristine condition for the winner whoever wins this will be getting this actual microphone I'm not super pleased with build quality it's it feels a little cheap, but at the same time, you do get a nice lightweight unit. So that's really, you know, pro and con. Uh, the other thing I'm not super pleased with is the range of 50 meters. So you'll see on our range test that it didn't really go terribly far. But if you're using it at close range, especially in indoor settings, you should be perfectly fine using this, this system. And for a price tag of 170 this is pretty, pretty great, a pretty great system. Uh, yeah, definitely a good budget system and I'm, you know, I'd definitely buy this. A few things I do like are the 15 stage gain control. So you have zero to plus 15 decibel control in increments of one decibel. So that's a really great feature that we haven't seen in a few other, in a few other units. The battery life of four hours, you should probably won't ever use that unless you're going for like a full weekend or a week without being able to shoot like a, like I go out in the back country um, I'd probably need 
maybe more than that, but should still do a sufficient job. And of course you can use one transmitter and then use another and, you know, probably power, power the receiver from your, your V mount or something. Um, so battery life is pretty solid. And then finally you get 32 channels to choose from, uh, you know, so if say you're getting RF interference from channel five, you just switch to channel six or something, but you have 32 channels to, to choose from. So you do have plenty of op options in case you're getting RF interference to try out. And uh, overall, I think for, for 170 bucks, this is a solid unit and I'd recommend it if you're looking for a budget unit. And uh, I think ZG Cine has done a, a solid job with this. And yeah, I'll put links below. Thank you again for watching. Uh, take a look at the links for more information from ZG Cine. And uh, see you next time.